police emergency. Call you through to the police. Can I help? Hi, I'm. I'm... Shut your fucking mouth! Dig Tet is a famous rapper from Detford in Lewisham and previously used to rep SHO, although he's now an inactive member. Instead of going to school, Dig Tet was drawn into a life of crime from knee high and was using his first GNS from the age of 11 and being sent OT by the olders on his block. His father wasn't present and mum always working probably contributing to this lifestyle but Dig Tet seemed set on it from a young age. It was all cool for Dick Dat, until he started drilling in the beef he was affiliated to but it wasn't a gang beef that would get him his prison sentence. Instead, he allegedly had beef with Silwood Nation members and when one of their 14 year old youngers turned up to a local youth center, he would ride there. He turned up to the Lady Well Center on the 18th of February 2013 and when he confronted the young G, he didn't talk and bored him up really badly, leaving him on antibiotics to this day. It wouldn't be long before he got arrested and charged with attempted M, taking the blame, and letting his friends get released the same day. He would get remanded at just the age of 13 and would spend his next two years in different secure children's homes while he received 10 years and wouldn't see the roads till he turned 18. I could never imagine spending my whole teenage years behind bars but unfortunately this was the situation Dig Gat was in. Most of his original members would help him eat but it was not the situation he was promised when he joined in primary school. It shows how young impressionable kids, getting drawn in by the music and films which really do influence you at that age. They would have blamed it on UK Drill if they could have but it's a fair point and the olders on his block have to take responsibility. However, he would ride his jail time, looking for 2018 with every ounce of hope he still had. He would have some beef with Silwood members and other affiliates from Lewisham but he would always handle it and he also allegedly bore two Silwood members in self-defense. Nearing his end of the prison stay, Bouncer would get notified on him via Digdat's cousin and would become his manager when he was released. They drop a couple tunes but it wasn't until Air Force when he broke into the industry, landing on 97 on the charts in the first week it charted. When the remix dropped, he would eventually get top 20 with the help of Bouncer and his guys from Gypsy Hill. On that front, 150 would actually bun one of their members at the video shoot where they were looking for K-Trap. Anyway, he was now out of the hood only a year after getting out but it would soon come crumbling down. He signed a good deal with Virgin but he wasn't able to hack it and would soon start lashing out at Bouncer, Cadet's memory and many other people around him. When he lost Bouncer, he lost his mojo and soon would slip into irrelevance in the UK scene. He has finally become independent and this is a real make or break year for Dig Dat, ending in his return with style or his fall off. Good luck, don't mess it up.